Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here of another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 if you have already burned the ISO file to a DVD or CD-ROM. So this process will help preserve some settings that already exist on your computer but we are not using the Windows Update method to upgrade to Windows 10 which won't be available for a couple days and I will make a small video regarding that and then at a certain point in that video it'll just link back to this video because this is really the full process of upgrading to Windows 10 so first things first we should already have a Windows 10 ISO file burned to a CD or DVD we should put it in right now if we haven't already okay so we just put in our DVD so basically now we're going to run the setup file we see now that Windows is preparing the installation files for us okay so now we have a dialog box here saying get important updates we could install the latest updates when we install Windows 10 so it'll bundle the latest and greatest updates which I would typically recommend however for the length of this video I'm just going to select not right now because it won't take as long for me to install it and if you want to help um, make Windows better I'm assuming making suggestions and comments and that kind of thing you can check mark this box I'm just gonna leave it unchecked we're gonna click on next right now it's checking our PC it was looking more than likely for compatibility issues with programs that are installed on the computer I'm going to put a product key right now I'm gonna copy and paste one in okay we're gonna click on next we're going to click on accepted. Now the key that I use is more than likely a temporary key that has a trial grace period. So don't count on this key being active for long for now, but more than likely after so long you're going to have to get your own legitimate Windows 10 key. And that's pretty much what this video is made for. It's people that already have the Windows 10 CD or DVD and are just looking to upgrade legally and legitimately to Windows 10. We see we have a check mark next to install Windows 10 Pro. And we also have a check mark next to keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps. We're going to now proceed to click install. Right now it is installing Windows 10. Your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. So we're going to let this run for a little while. I'm not going to be talking through the entire installation of this. And once we see something new come up on the screen, I will be back. Hello everyone, we see that the computer is restarted. And now it says Upgrading Windows. At the bottom left corner of the screen, we see it's copying files at 14, now 15% completion. This is a lot different than the previous Windows upgrade installation processes. It is the first major change since I would even say Windows Vista because Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8 pretty much follow the very similar graphical design and uh, this is definitely different. So we're gonna let this thing go for a little bit and once we're done, once we get a little bit further along, I will be back. Hello everyone, I am back. We see that our user account that we are logged into is right here up on the screen. I'm going to click on next. Now either we can use express settings which will implement settings based off of Microsoft suggestions or we could do customized settings. I just want to go check out custom. We can see personalization, uh, location tracking is on. We can turn that off. That's just kind of how I like to set it. Let apps use your advertising ID, send typing and inking data, personalize your speech. I'm just going to turn some of these off now this is my opinion you don't actually need to turn off any of these personally I would recommend you do express settings if you're looking to avoid any conflicts and use the settings suggested by Microsoft and now we can see we have new apps for the new windows we have some new features that are being displayed Microsoft Edge the new Internet Explorer if you want to look at it like that 
And if we click on next, we are finalizing our settings right now. Okay, so right now it is loading our computer up. I'm going to type in the password to this computer. All right, so I'm just going to let this installation process continue. I'm just going to fast forward through it and I will put some music in the background and hopefully this should go pretty quick. Hello everyone, as we can see we have upgraded to Windows 10 successfully. We can see we have some new icons here, we have the new start menu, and we can see that Windows has retained our Windows 7 desktop background, as well as our desktop shortcuts. So I hope this video helped you out guys. Take from as you wish, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye.